it's massive for me, for me on a personal level. Um, you know, to be to be named the captain is, is something very, very special. I'm, I'm very proud to be to be English and very proud to, to lead the team out. Um, you know, something that I know my, my family in the stands will, will love to see me leading the team out. Um, you know, at home a home World Cup, it, it doesn't come any better. I think originally when it was when it was postponed, I think the nervousness was, am I going to get picked in 12 months' time for everybody? You know, we, we play a pretty, pretty brutal sport, so injuries are inevitable, um, form. So there, there was players, you know, that would be playing this World Cup that ne wouldn't necessarily have played had it been played last year. Um, once it got once it got cancelled in uh, at the end of last year, we sort of said, right, we've got another 12 months to prepare. So we, we sort of tried to see the positives in it, but. Yeah, the excitement's just been, been building and building for, for a long, long time. We just want to get out there and play now. Well, first up, Samoa. Um, it's the strongest Samoan team they've, they've ever had. Um, the, the bookies have got us at nil-nil. You know, they, they can't pick who's going to win it, so it's, it's going to be a great contest. They're, they're a big physical group. Um, and and they've, they've got some real talent, so we, we know the challenge there. Uh, second week we'll be playing France. Um, one I'm looking forward to. Uh, a lot of my friends, I play I play my domestic rugby in France with the Catalan Dragons. So we've got 16 of, of my my teammates are actually playing in the, in the France squad. So for me, I'll be looking forward to um, you know clashing heads with a, with a few good friends. And then Greece, the last game. Um, I'm not expecting Greece to, to put up too much of a fight. You know they're a, they're a, a nation that's not. Um, not had a strong squad, so um, you know for them to, to be a part of it is, is brilliant. But um, the, the big one certainly Samoa. Um, France will try and upset us. We'll not let that happen. I'd say Dom Young, one of our, our wingers. He's he's playing over in Australia at the moment. He's still only young. I think he's 20 years old. But. He's, he's never played international before and he, he played in the warm-up game last week against Fiji and he was the, the best player on the field, so I'd, I'd tip him as the one to watch. It's changed over the years, I've, I've, got, I've got four children now, so now I want to I play and and, and make them proud. I want, I want my kids to, to see, see the dad doing something that not a lot of people get to do. Um, but I've, I've been playing rugby since I was seven years old. I'm just a competitor. Um, it's, a, it's a fast, brutal, skillful sport. It's got everything, uh, everything that you could imagine in it. So for, for me, it's been a passion from, from day one. As long as I could walk, I, I remember having a, a rugby ball in my hand. So that's never changed for me. I'm, I'm still equally as excited to play now as I did when I was five years old. I think everybody's, because there's been so little international rugby league, I think everybody's uh, a little bit unsure how everyone's going to do. Um, if you look at the quality of the players, uh, the NRL produces the best players, so you know, Australia, New Zealand, Samoa um, uh, and Tonga are, are stacked with, with superstars, so I'm sure they'll all be good, um, hopefully not too good and, and hopefully we can, we can get one over on them all. I'd love kids to watch this World Cup and, and see England do well and want to go and be a rugby player. You know, we, we want more kids playing grassroots level. We want rugby league to, to be growing, um, and in turn that will grow the grow the, the professional game. You know, we've got a great product, but in this country, um, you know, we, we don't bang our drum loud enough. I don't believe. You know, we've got a, we've got a great product. It just needs more eyes on it, and you know, there's there's no way there's no better way to, to get eyes on the sport than. And England winning a World Cup on home soil. So if we can do that, I'm sure we'll we'll inspire generations to come. I'd say come and get involved. You know, there's there's nothing like rugby league atmosphere. I've played rugby all over the world, uh, and there's no atmosphere like an English crowd. It's it's immense, and there's a lot of players in this World Cup that'll never experience that. It'll be a treat for them so if you've never been to a game and you want to come and watch just go along to one game and I'm sure you'll be hooked.